situation of span of attention. Okay, so this is how the apparatus looks like, and there is an aperture here, okay, through which the participant will be able to see a car that is facing the end. Okay, so when I you know, for a brief period of time, you know, they'll be able to see the car. Okay. Here now the car is blank, but there will be something written on the cards, you know, for the experiment, and the participant will have to see what is written and reproduce the same, you know, the writing material that's given to them. So that's the experiment about. So few precautions that you have to take care of is that you know it has to be in the eye level of the participant. So adjusted it with these books um, and another thing it has to be two to three feet away from the participants position. So we're going to start off the experiment. Uh, this is very comfortable. Okay, also are you able to see is it clear for you? Yeah. So we'll start off with the first card. All you have to do is write down what you see. Check the first four uh, if you got it right. And I have to do the scoring. So you check after every four. Yes. So after every four row, you know, sets yeah. or four cards, I'll have to check for your okay. responses. So we're done with uh, eight cards. That is first four cards and the next set of four cards. Now I'm going to start with the third set. Okay. Of cards. This is for you to have a view of how the participant would see uh, the apparatus. So ready. I would ask the participant if he's ready. Ready? Ready. So, uh, you know, they'll be exposed to certain words for a brief period of time. It's one tenth of a second. These are the set of cards that we have. We have a set of four cards with three alphabets. Okay. And then we have a set of four cards again with four alphabets. Then you know, four cards with five alphabets and so on. So what, as an experimenter, what do you do? Or the, what the view of the experimenter is? You take this card. This is where, you know, there's a glass. You'll have to pull this card. Okay? And then place the card here, behind the glass. And then, you release this. And that is when the participant gets to see the alphabets for a brief period of time. So, and once that is done, remove the card, place it, go with the next card, that is the next set of three cards, three alphabets that we have, uh, sorry, you have to place the card, place the card and, and the same procedure again, the next card with three alphabets, you pull this up, place the card, Take the card out. So now we have a new set of cards. Can we love? You know, have the same procedure all over again.
since four uh, words are done, four sets of words, four sets of cards are done, we'll have to check again. So the difference between the first set of cards we showed and the second set of cards is that the second set of cards have a meaning. Again, we'll have four cards with three alphabets and then next we would have uh, four cards with four alphabets and with five and so on. So that's the difference between the first set of cards that we had, which were nonsense syllables and the second set of cards are meaningful words.